hello everybody and welcome to this interesting video in which we gonna design a single RC beam so we create new project and from here we, we select RC elements design the first step that we have to do is going to RC element and from here new and select beam You have to set up the geometry of this beam from here. First of all, the cross section. Let's assume that we have a beam of 30 by 70, for example. And its length was as 5 meters or 6 meters. Okay. This is our beam and this width is a uh, width of the support for example this uh, this column is uh, 40 centimeters if you want to change it you can change it from here 0.5 and for this side we want 0.5 also as it's shown here it has been changed now we want to assign loads after this after defining the geometry of this beam we want to define the loads but but before that let's suppose that this beam is uh, is not horizontal that means there is some inclination in this beam you can add that inclination from here from segments and add the inclination for example it was 0.5 meters and apply that and it's clearly seen from here that inclination has occurred okay now we move to the second step which is defining loads from here we define the type of load for example we want distributed load of this shape okay First of all, we add dead load, which is, for example, we have um, 10, 10 kilonewtons, and we have life load of 5 kilonewtons. That's okay for this beam. After that, go to go to load patterns, and from here you can see the table of loads. We have the self weight, and we have the life load and dead load okay after that we start calculations from here but before that we can specify the type of reinforcement from here from concrete you choose or you select the type of concrete which is this one which is 25 megapascal and for longitudinal Reinforcement, we choose grade R, and from here we select 516, for example. And for transversal reinforcement, we choose grade R for uh, also, and uh, we want our stirrups to be of 58. Additional reinforcement, grade R 514. That's enough, and from here reinforcement pattern we want the maximum number of layers at the bottom to be 2 that's good and for the top 1 and from here we select the type of uh, uh, of stirrup to be used we have now 1 2 3 4 5 6 six types of stirrups are chosen and for here the spacing of stirrups uh, it should be auto or you can specify it from here you can enter five centimeters or 10 15 that's uh, as you want but the auto option is the best one and from here 
we select this one as auto and anti shrinkage as auto okay that's enough then calculate again now from here you can see the diagrams as it's shown here this is the bending moment diagram and as we go in the direction of x-axis we see how the magnitude of the moment changes we scroll down to see the shear diagram in the same pattern and we have here all the details and you can see the uh, results in the tabular form here in this table and from uh, re uh, reinforcement you can see also the required area of steel this is the required area of steel it's, it's illustrated in this diagram okay that's enough for diagrams and for beam reinforcement we see here the main bottom reinforcement as 516 and the number is 6 and the top is 516 and the number is, is 3 and for stirrups 58 and we have 22 stirrups and this is the distances okay to see it in the 3D view press this square and drag this window to this corner and this is the 3D view of our beam okay the last step or the one before the last one is the drawings you can see the drawings from here and here we have all the details regarding this beam we have the reinforcement table and this is the drawing and this is the cross section as it noticed here the bottom layer of uh, the bottom reinforcement of this beam has been done in two layers and the top one is just in one layer and here in this table you can see the type of concrete that, that has been used in this uh, beam and also its volume and you can see also the area of the formwork and the cover has been specified as 3.8 centimeters and the last thing is the scale okay finally you go through beam nodes this node includes everything regarding the details ge geometry materials calculations design everything that has been used or calculated in this process we have all types of diagrams and also here we have the reinforcement and material survey that means you can estimate the amount of materials used in this beam that was our lesson for today thanks for watching if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe like and share bye